All right. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to survive, so we're going to rest right away. This wouldn't get me an item. Give me the temp buff. Wits. Wits helps a little. I think I'm going here just because I can win this fight. I don't know if I win this fight. I might. And then I think I'm going question mark, question mark. Then I'm coming over here. That fight doesn't look too bad. This fight could destroy me. This is what I want. Surge of Potential's my reroll target. I do have Void Quake. And then there's more question marks after that. I don't know. That's my plan. It's not a very good plan. All right, early pocket blade. I could gain a little bit of purity. I didn't really want to gain mana yet, but Okay. I can get to zero. Three times five. I do have this. But I'm already at full health. Freezing, that feels good. I could just try and blow up this first one. Huh. Interesting. Drew three cards, so now the pocket blades would have cost a ton, but I didn't have room for them anyways. Right, right, right. I was going to say, I'm looking for burst of strength. Found it. Have heals, but I'm at almost full health. Hey, there's a heal. Ah, <sighs> Feyruz, Barbed Gale. I do get to play a good number of little cards. Let's try Barbed Gale. Do I? Let's try it. That used up one of my rests, I think. It's a pretty big upgrade. If I'm going to take that card, let's embrace it and see what it can do. Powerful or mighty, I'm guessing. I kind of just need an item. Starting Predator. Starting Wits. Tough call. I think I take the predator just to try and survive right now, but I don't know if that's amazing. Because 
I already have wits for these next few fights. Okay, I've already drawn two cards. If I get down to zero, this draws one strike. Let's do that. Getting down to zero feels pretty tough. I mean, I could. If I used this, then this. Does that really make sense? I'm gonna say yes. Maybe I should have done that to the back one. Not sure. No heal off of that. This was the card I was looking for that whole time. this first one it's gonna give me treasure chests oh okay frost strike would also be really nice I did upgrade the frost strike I already had frost rune okay that was not not ideal That card was okay. Void Quake. Void Quake's pretty good. More Frost Rune. Do that. Maybe I should have done the vulnerable first, but shouldn't I get my pocket blades back? I might have already been at zero. Now I got them back. Could use a little bit of heal. No, because I heal after the fight anyways. Hey, heal. That didn't heal that one as much as it said it was going to. I think it just said a bigger number because I get more heal from cards, maybe? Not sure. Right, it had purity. Max shield plus four, not super helpful. I'll take that. Arcane leak is helpful. Okay, full health. It's 
pretty good. Should have already played that. Not a ton of damage, but it's okay. It was enough to get me a purity, got me my pocket blades. What else do I want to draw into? Barbed Gale. Right now I have Powerful 2, they have Fortress. Is this when I play this? I think the answer is no, but I'm not sure. Losing that evasion hurts a little. Voidquake's really good. I have my Frost Rune. I have Barbed Gale. Right. They don't actually get the Arcane Leak. They do get Bleed. Bleed is good. Fragmented Blast is really good here. As are the Pocket Blades. Plus the bleed. This is almost doing the 20 damage that I would like. Still getting purity is good. All right, I still have frost rune.
Barbed Gale. Barbed Gale does seem surprisingly good. I was about to run out of Frost Rune. Alright. Frost Barrier is brutal. Okay. Void Quake into the Frost Barrier. If I do this, I get frozen. I guess getting frozen isn't the worst thing. It's not super desirable, though. What? Oh, I had purity. Let's go. Okay, purity's gone. They do have reflect, so I am taking damage here. I still think it's worth it. Now we're both frozen. Restore health in combat. This is a healing deck. Okay, I want to kill at least this front one. It does have reflect. Why didn't I give them arcane leaks sooner? The fact that I always want Burst of Strength in my hand tells me this should probably be an upgrade. Hey, there's no Frost Barrier, there's nothing crazy going on. Happy to see that. I also don't have any mana. That was a good card! We gotta mend. Mend is good. It gives me my pocket blades, which do big damage. Surge of potential. Yep. Starting mighty. Let's go. Arcane leak four. It's not bad. I'm not sure. Um, all of these cards are kind of good. Is it Blessed Strike? Blessed Strike is kind of good. All right, Hidden Focus would be really nice. Cursed Fog could be okay. I do heal a lot. 
I don't know if these two destroy me, though. This does destroy me. Ooh, but if I live... This card's not amazing, but... It's the card that I want. Go fight this. This could easily be my death. Huh. What do I make a copy of? I'm not sure yet. Is it just Pocket Blade? Could be. It's a temporary copy of Pocket Blade. That doesn't make much sense. Okay, we blew that up so the hidden's gone. That's good. Very good. So now, this does big damage. Very big damage. As do the pocket blades. Still shocked. Now I've raised the cost of future pocket blades. They're still super worth playing. If I do this, it screws up my pocket blade a bit. Does that matter to me? I don't really need the frost strike. Just trying to kill this first one. Again. It doesn't gain much for me, though. Sadly. It is already frozen, but it would get its hidden back next turn. Dies to the curse. You're doing two damage and debuffing me with more curse? No, with Crystallize? No, with Curse. Okay. Arcane Leak. The 
Bleed probably wanted to go on before the Arcane Leak, but I'm not sure. Lose four mana. Interesting that this came... Feels like this one should have a cost of one right now. Maybe not. I don't know. Feels like something's not right there. Hey, we did it. Victory. I think it's still battle ready, even though I already have Mighty. Tough call. All right. Good thing I took that. That was the thing that let me justify taking that item. All right. Um, mm -hmm. All of these feel important. All of them also feel kind of like meh. I wish I could remove the heal card, but I can't. My cursed mend. Could be this barbed gale, but that can do some damage. Remove a mana card, why not? You, now standing in a large cavern. It doesn't quite look natural, and the cold permeates everything, making you shiver. At the other end of the cavern are three passage passageways. You can feel a cold draft coming out of one of them. If I go this middle passage, I'm pretty sure I die. It would give me an option to run from it, I think. Yeah, I get to choose. We're gonna fight it, and we're gonna die. It starts out frozen, it has purity, it has opportunist, it has nine fortress, it has tough. Frozen four, so it's frozen for two turns. Unless I trigger the opportunists. It has lifesteal. Yeah, I can't kill this thing. I knew that going into it. Purity. Um, yeah. What is my game plan? I would like to use up that purity somehow. This is an expensive way to get rid of one purity. Spend two mana without drawing cards. I don't 
think this is great, but this is what I'm doing. And I get back my pocket blades. Pocket blades are at least decent. Those attacks would do a lot more if I had anything like my runes or whatever. If you didn't have Fortress a million. temporary. It has fortress, so these don't actually do the damage shown. Right. The bleed gets rid of the purity. I got rid of my other bleed card. This one's really good. leak would be good. Would be good next turn. This evasion four is brutal. As is that shield and the powerful. Great. Quit trying to discard yourself, Void Quake. Okay, there goes its opportunist. Poison Blood. Poison Blood's pretty bad. You do have Arcane Leak. If I could blow it up, which I can't really do, that would help a lot. Now I can play this. Debuff, buff, 14 mana drain. Interesting. My fatigue is only one right now. a lot of shrivels. Okay. I really have a lot of shrivels. Hit this again, the arcane leak goes off at least. If I hit it with this, 10 frost. I would also apply a bunch of poison to myself. Let's hold off on that. 51 turns of weak. 
this is not reasonable. Okay. That one at least didn't do anything, but the other one... I'm at full health, I can heal a bunch, but not like this. Alright, what am I doing? like to freeze this. I don't have frost rune. Okay, freezing it is not an option. Where's my... Oh yeah, pocket blades come when I do this. Which really doesn't do much for me. I'm doing like no damage to this thing. And it's doing massive damage to me. This is a problem. really good if I could use up this one mana to get back those pocket blades. Not that it would do anything, but it would make me feel like it's doing something. Okay, there goes all my health. Yeah, that's cool. I'm not even going to be able to kill this Void Stalker. Hey, this helps. In theory. I could play it. Which I can't. But I get my pocket blades. And this thing's not even doing all that much. It's debuffing me with something that I don't want buffing itself with something bad. But this doesn't do much. Okay. What? What happened to all of my buffs? What is this thing? I think with a reasonable deck I could take this on too. This is not a reasonable deck. Alright, so I just have to freeze it right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You could waste... I'm not shocked. Wow. It's just the ambush. And the 25 powerful. It gets 10 plated. I can't even do anything to this. I get my pocket blades back. Look at that, chipping away at its plated. Did I just lose? Yes. <laughs> All right. That deck was a little bit questionable, just a little bit. But look at that healed. That's doable. That's doable. That's... I was one card away! I would have created a card if I knew that. Freeze enemies. Those are doable. What shrines do we have? Hunger. Hunger is good for Drophus, but I've already won with Drophus. Huh. Endurance. Cruelty. Got it. Cruelty feels like it's always in there. If I'm playing as Drophus, I probably want these two. I don't know if I am playing with Drophus. I have over 30,000 gold now. So, the question now is what would I change to this? If 
fragmented blast. You're not as good as I thought. You're good late game, but early game, that just doesn't do enough. Frost Strike, sadly, again, you're good late game, but early game, it doesn't do enough. And hopefully I have a better way to freeze enemies by then. Reckless Chase could be okay. I think I just basically put back what Falter Fire had. Um, so this one did some stuff. It really did. It worked with Reckless. It worked with Infected Focus. So was Burst of Strength is worth taking. Is that the only major change that I would make? There's something else I'm missing. You had Fae, whatever it's called, Fae Barrier, but you had something else too. Fae's Grace is decent. Um, you really did. This has six mana cards. I think you had six. I changed out Burst of Strength for something. Could put in the second Blade Idol. That would get me back to almost being my old deck. You had some poison cards. Falter Fire had what? This one's not bad. Five times one, one cost with an upgrade. Three times one without the upgrade. That's not the card that you had. You had one that triggered it, I thought. Maybe that was in the pool. Barbed Gale seemed okay. I don't know if it's amazing. Probably isn't. I'd have to think about things some more. But my take on Falter Fire's deck was a failure compared to Falter Fire's. All right, for now, that does it for this video. Next time, I might play Drophus again. I want to play Merly, but these aren't the shrines that I want for it. I don't know. See what I feel like doing next time. For now, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.